Hi there, this is Jason with Exceptionalist and today we're going to be taking a look at the different type of filtering and searching you can do within the Exceptionalist dashboard. When you first log into your dashboard, you can see that everything loads up under your Exception dashboard and shows all projects. There's no time frame selected so it's showing you all time and then there's no criteria for searching either. If we wanted to look at a different organization or a different project within a different organization, we can click on the All Projects drop down and then we can select the different organizations or the different projects within those organizations. So, for example, Search Examples will load up the Search Examples project data. When it comes to affecting the time frame of your data, you can click on the little calendar icon up here and select from presets including last hour, last 24 hours, last week, last 30 days, all time which is the default, or custom. If we click into custom we see that we can actually change the date range and the times down to the seconds. Another feature that allows you to affect the time frame of your data is actually clicking and dragging on a specific section of your history graph here and it'll actually reorganize the data based on that time frame. Now we can take a look at actually searching through all of our event data. If you click on the magnifying glass up at the top right by the calendar icon you can drop down the search filter. This allows us to search by certain criteria and also include fixed events and or errors and hidden events and or errors. If you click on the question mark here you'll actually see a full list and documentation for the filtering. This page has several FAQs that include some examples and then down at the bottom we have all of the different terms you can use to prefix your searching along with examples in the middle column. This third column will tell you whether it requires the term as a prefix to the search to work correctly. If we go back to our exceptionalist dashboard we can try a few things out. Since we know we've got dummy data with some preset tags we can start checking out a few tags. So tag 1 shows us that. Tag 3 is going to update and show us different data. Tag 5 will show us different data yet. And then we can also filter by tag 1 and tag 5. So this shows the ones that have both tags or we can throw in an OR statement and that will use the OR statement to filter. Then if we go back to everything not shown and then we include fixed, it will actually show us two events that were marked fixed added to the total. And then of course you can clear all the data as well. And of course all of this, the project, time frame, and search criteria filtering applies for most recent, most frequent, and all of the different types of events you can send exceptionless. That's about it for the filtering and search tutorial video. If you guys have any questions at all or comments, please let us know in the blog post. Send us an in-app support message or hit us up on social media or any other way you see fit. Thanks and have an awesome day.